I'm Stephen McCarthy. I, along with my team, are doing, a, are doing a sociology and media studies course in college. We're doing a project about the boy racer culture in Ireland. We take our investigation to a secondary school in Kerry. We're going to interview a number of students about their opinions on boy racers and boy racing in their community. They have volunteered only on one condition. Their identities remain anonymous. We have James Simpson and Reggie Sullivan who support boy racers. Both names have been changed to protect their identity. So, we begin with James, who even informs me he's had a race at the weekend. James, tell me of your experience. Well, what can I say, like, he, that race had destroyed me, he can't even race, like. Tell me what happens in these races. Well, we started off and he got in front of me, like, and I tried to go left and he went left, I tried to go right and he got right. He got his car and he tried, he pushed me to the side of the road, destroyed the paint, dented the side door, wasted my time, like, wasted my time and money. Next time there'll be a different tale to tell. I have to get him back. So, will you race again? Oh yeah, I have to. Win back my money. Shamed otherwise. How will you arrange this? One of the boys got his number for me. Where? Side of the car. Will you ring it? Well, I suppose, like, I can't back down from this. Alright, thanks. You're a good friend of James, Reggie, or Roz. What do you think of what just happened? A uh, big deal. One little crash. It's a man's sport. He has to do it. Some boys. I'll get the number. How bad? It's not a big deal. I've lost the race. Everyone loses a race. He just needs to settle things and get it out of his system. I gave him the number. Why wouldn't I? Now we go to a number of other students for their opinion on the subject and on this race. What's your opinion? James lost. He'll have to go again. They're hardly going to stop racing. I can't wait until he races him. Be some laugh. I definitely say race again. Now, what is your opinion? Well, I think they're pure scumbags. Fools. Don't even pay attention to them. They're going to get themselves killed. So, what do you have to say about the race? Ah, oh, they're some muppets. They don't even know how sad they look in their souped up cars. James some spacer. The way he be going on drives me fucking mad. He's some plucky boy, thought he was going to win. The gimp got paid. Not so smart now in hospital. Some fools know. Look where I got him. A week later, Monday morning at 8.50am. We're back at school to continue our project. Something we never thought would happen. An accident occurred as two racers, students, Reggie Sullivan, and James Simpson were in a car crash last Friday night. Both were in an extremely bad way in Kerry General Hospital and we'll continue to carry out our research with the students today. Things might be different now in the light of the accident. Something new, something different. We'll see. What are your thoughts on boy racers and the race? Boy racing like this should be stopped. There's too much pressure. Someone has to cut it out somehow. And yourself, what do you think? It was Reggie's fault. He was mad for him to race. He kept giving them numbers. This crash should be the end of it all, I suppose. That won't stop them. They'll be out racing again. It's only a bit of fun to them, but sort of they got hurt. I'm bothered now. Show something. Too many people are being sucked into this. All the boys are egging them on. They didn't have a chance, like. It's unfair. There's uproar now. Boys aren't allowed to bring their cars to school. We are back for our third visit in our research. There's huge shock around the community as the lives of the two students, Reggie Sullivan and James Simpson, have been taken from us. They both died in the race at the weekend. James Simpson was pronounced dead at 4.42 p.m. at the weekend and Reggie Sullivan at 2.22 p.m. It doesn't seem right, but we'll continue to do our project to see if we can make a difference. James and Reggie are dead. Would you blame them? Something has to be done about this. Is there anyone to blame for all this? I blame Reggie. Everyone does. He made a ring for all those races. Blame? What are you on about? Two boys in our class are dead. They were sown, just up for a laugh. They never knew it would end like this. 
parents, they give the money for the cars. I think they have no one to blame but themselves. Yeah, it's ended and I think this might have happened. For sale signs and numbers would have to be bad. This boy is cracked up. This boy is broken up. Depressed and embarrassed. He's just lost the rest of his rival. He struggles to find meaning. The only thing he is good at is his car. The only thing that he thrills him is his car. The only thing that defines him is his car. Now his car will either make him or break him. This boy is called James Simpson. He's everywhere. He's your son. He's your boyfriend. He's your brother. He's your friend. He's a boy racer. He is for sale. He is for race. Don't let this happen to your son, friend, or even you. This race broken. It will break you. Stop. You'll be sad. 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 You'